This is another amazing travel adapter from China. It's a universal adapter. It fits into almost any socket in the world and it also can accept almost any plug. It even has a surge protector and indicator LED. It comes with a nice protective bag which reminds me of vacuum cleaner bags and with a manual. There's the Chinese version and the English version. And it says it provides a child protection safety shutter and make sure your hands are dry before using the universal adapter. It seems to be written in very nice English, much better than most of the Chinese manuals. But the Chinese version says something about the voltage and current. The English version says nothing about it. It looks very nice, like a very clever and compact design. If you are in Europe, you just engage this European plug and plug it in Europe. And if you are in America, you just unlock those American pins, pull them out and lock them. And you can use it in America. And if you are in Australia, you just rotate them and you have Australian plug. Then you can push it back. And if you are in UK, you just unlock the UK plug, pull it out and lock it. And you can use it in UK. And let's go back to Europe. Just plug it in. The LED comes on and you can plug anything into it. But this is where the good part ends. As you can see there is no ground. There is just European plug without ground. US or Australian plug without any ground. And a British plug with just a plastic ground pane. Because the British socket actually requires the pane to open the shutters of those two. But this one is just made of plastic, it doesn't connect anything. So you theoretically should only plug appliances which don't require ground, like this one. But there's absolutely nothing to prevent you from plugging appliances which have to be grounded, like this European one. You can easily plug it in. This Italian one with the ground pin in the center. You can plug it in and it's connected to nothing. And the British one, you can easily plug it in. And the ground is always being defeated. You can also very easily plug it in the wrong way, like this. And this pin is becoming live through the impedance of the appliance. You can do it with this one as well. And you can even plug the ground pin of the British plug into life. And the entire metal cabinet of the appliance is now live. And this is a problem of the travel adapters in general. You can do it with almost any adapter like this one. And you can also plug the ground of the Italian one into life. Like this. And it definitely doesn't stop here. So let's stay in Europe. Just plug it in. And what if you accidentally engage those British paints now? Yes, they are alive. So you just got an electric shock in Europe and if you are lucky enough to be still alive, you can fly to America and plug it in. And again, you exit engage those pins and again, they are alive. So you have another electric shock. And if it's still not enough for you, you can fly to UK, plug it in and you have all of those pins live now. The European ones are live and the American ones are also live. And it claims to have safety shutters, but they don't work at all. You can stick absolutely anything into it. Even the ground pane of the British plug. And let's see how much does the indicator LED draw. 0.3 times 10 range. 0.34 watts. I think there is just a resistor in series with the LED. And let's take a look inside. There are two screws under those plastic covers.
and I'm afraid I'm not going to put this back together. So this is the European plug. Each plug has its contacts. And this is the top of it with the contacts and there is an LED and it seems to have two resistors in series about 74 kilo ohm each probably yes 74 kilo ohms each in series and that's it there's the shutter which is completely useless and there are the contacts This one makes contact here. This one makes contact here. And the last one makes contact here. And there is of course no ground connection. It's just empty plastic hole. And it says search protector. But I really didn't find any in it. And this is how the universal socket contacts look like. So this is definitely a very questionable device. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.